Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today is my final ride on the ST1100. Cue the intro. Well, if you're new to this channel, you're probably thinking, what is all this last ride thing about? But this Honda ST1100 Pan European was bought to do a charity motorcycle ride where I rode around the UK like a compass on this bike and the whole part of the challenge was was to buy a bike for a thousand pounds or less and it was hard to find one I must admit but I managed to pick this up for something like 870 pounds but it had some problems now the biggest problem that it had was was that it ended up being a massive rusty hole in the swing arm itself and we ended up having to get a professional welder to come around and fix the swing arm also, I put some new tyres on it, plus we did a full service because it hadn't been serviced in a long, long time. We also put USB points in both parts here, an actual phone holder we had to drill into the dash to put on as well. Plus, we unplugged the ABS light because no matter what we seemed to do, it kept going wrong. Not just that, I also replaced from a very low mileage bike, the rear shock and the two front discs. It's had quite a lot done to it so we could go out on this adventure. So when we sorted all that out, part of this charity trip was to dress as superheroes. And obviously I dress as Batman. And that's the reason why you can see the Batman sort of stickers on it, the POW wallet bang on the back as well. And it holds a lot of emotions for me. But like all things, because this was bought to do something for the channel, for the adventure, unfortunately it's going to be time for it to go. So this is literally going to be ridden to the MOT centre and back and then that's it it goes up for sale so I'm generally hoping that the person that buys this watches the channel they enjoy the videos and they want to have something that's part of the helmet head channel something that they can keep taking on adventures because it'd be sad for it just to go and sit in someone's garage again but unfortunately it's got to be sold because obviously I need to move on to the next project the next crazy thing we're doing on this channel but I've got some amazing memories on this. Well, what we're gonna do, we're gonna jump on the bike and we'll talk about all the pluses, the negatives, what I found during a 2,200 plus mile adventure on one of these bikes that's meant to do it. And it's gonna be sad, isn't it? It's gonna be sad to have that final ride to say, that's the last time you're gonna see this bike on the channel. It's a little bit gutting, but anyway, let's jump on it, let's ride. Let's have that final blast. Well, here we go, Pan, this is it me and you the final ride you've been a good girl to be fair you've been a really good girl let's fire up first thing turn on the key that would be a really good idea wouldn't it okay here we go i am generally going to miss this bike i am let's get going now i want to talk about a couple of the negatives because obviously if somebody buys it i need them to know absolutely everything now there is a very slight clutch rattle when you first go off. It goes away. Apparently it's a common kind of rattle with these bikes. It doesn't affect it in any way, but there is a rattle. I like to call it its arthritis roots are starting to show. The other side is the key. You have to fiddle a little bit with the ignition key for it to switch, up, to switch on. Nothing big, old school bike, kind of things you'd expect. And they're kind of like the niggly bits that I think are really important to point out if anybody goes, you know what, I really want to buy that bike. I generally think, and I think these bikes have proven themselves, but I generally think right now you could jump on this bike and you could ride it on any adventure because it's got the new tyres, it's got all the things that cause hassle like the uh, swing, the swing arm, obviously that's been repaired. It's got nice shiny new Bridgestone tyres on it that's literally just done that adventure. So they're just worn in, they're ready, they're good to go. Everything about the bike is pretty much good to go. And the one thing I will say about the Honda Pan European is you can hack the miles. We were doing like, you know, between three to 500 mile days on this for six days straight and yes we were knackered yes we were exhausted but these hacks down the miles without any problem at all it's just like they are proper traveling beasts and that's why they're so popular that's why they are one of the most popular you know sort of touring bikes of their day 
and they're like they are just fantastic fantastic beasts there's no doubt about it it's it's cracking and the one thing i'll say as well i strapped luggage to the back seat i had the panniers full i had camera equipment i had clothes we had food had everything on this and it just hammered it it really took it really really well i don't really have a lot of negatives to say about these bikes at all to be completely honest with you they are big they are heavy and they are monsters to move around when you're not flowing so if you want to move it around say your driveway this is a heavy beast to push around there is no doubt about it it's heavy to get on the center stand but then it's going to be it's a massive touring bike and this is like one step away from the gold wing this bike it is big but it is comfortable and it's a big fun beast and it doesn't lack power it really does hammer and you know i don't it's one of those things where it's like i am generally sad to actually sell the bike what's kind of in my head like i i, I know what i've got and i know where i'm going 99% of the time in regards to what bikes I'm going to buy and what I'm going to do and this this is one of those bikes that I know has got to go but I know I'm going to miss it as well because it is an awesome bike to go touring on it ticks an unbelievable amount of boxes but the reality of it is is that I have to do the next crazy thing on the channel and not just that as well that I need the room this takes up a lot of room in the garage I do need to sort my garage out to be fair as well but I've got a few bikes and at the end of the day this takes up a lot of room and I need that space for a press bike or potentially uh, another channel bike that I generally would love to go out and buy but can't actually afford it at this minute but potentially replace it that's kind of the other potential for this but anyway it's got to go i've made that decision it's going to happen the mot is going to go on it and i just do i generally generally hope that somebody that watches this channel somebody that's seen the adventure buys it because these don't go for massive amounts of money that's the other side of it of this is like this has done seventy four thousand miles these will go 400 500 000 miles easy and that's been proven as well so it's got loads of life left in it so in regards this is not a high mileage bike for its year and the sort of bike that it actually is not a high mileage at all let me just get out of this junction it just ready for power just loads of power just oozes of power oh oh yeah i've picked a lovely windy day for for doing this ride but this is this is the time i've got now back to this pan it's got a clock it's got a digital clock down there and it does work and I basically the whole time i had the bike i didn't know how to set the digital clock at all a guy called john that came on the adventure i was like how do you do the clock he was like well you switch on the ignition and you change the clock i was like what do you mean switch on the ignition he goes well you can't change it without the ignition on so he switches on the ignition and he changes my clock so the clock does work that's happy days <laughs> everything works on it the fuel gauge works the temperature gauge works this bike hasn't had any overheating problems we had a few what joined us on that trip that ended up having some overheating problems or fan problems this bike touch wood touch me head that it hasn't had any problems or issues during that trip and i think it was the only pan out of the st 1100s that we all bought for a grand or less that didn't it's quite impressive like i said the abs on this is just disconnected bulb you can reconnect it obviously but at the end of the day i don't like that bulb flashing i've tried a million things i'm just disconnect the bulb it's 1950s abs system in my mind it's i'm not bothered by it the brake the bike breaks fantastically old school at the end of the day uh, the traction control system still on it's still there it still puts the light and takes the light off um yeah it's just it bike zips i like the way this bike zips around like it's it's a big beast on the road and interesting if i've said recently about another bike i've got what's the royal enfield himalayan about keeping it changing it and i am in a 50 50 place with that bike i generally think it's something i'm going to do some more adventures on yet it's a bit too soon to get rid of it i think i've got to a point with it where it's like it's not satisfying me for some of the stuff that i'm doing but at the end of the day it's a great bike and there's still more potential for me to do on, on that bike but i like to keep going to that but but i do want something big in the garage so potentially 
on when my, part of my next project might be to flip a few bikes, as in buy them, do some stuff on them and sell them to go up. I don't know. But yeah, the ST1100 Pan European is a beast. This bike is an absolute beast. It rides really, really well for its age it's planted and obviously changing that rear shock as well having that really young base it got off of a really young pan i think was in a crash if i get this rightly and then they've taken the part off of it you can you could see when we put it on how sort of like low mileage the pan was because it was in really good condition that it's got none of that movement and that rock it's a good solid thing and that what creates a fantastic ride it's a comfortable comfortable beast this pan and the other thing about owning a honda pan and it took me by surprise a bit because obviously i'm in lots of facebook groups and stuff over my time but there was a facebook group that was trying to invite me to join them because i when i had problems with a swing arm someone put a post up in there and it's called the st1100 elite on facebook and they were phenomenal like the guy that is the guy that's behind the actual group came and supported us on the charity trip he bought a t-shirt and was massively involved massively supported us brought bits to fix the sidekicks bike just it was just a fantastic and everybody on there massively supported it they were coming to find us they were putting po posts up so if you do buy this bike generally i'd love to see some pictures of it up on that group because that group massively supported it we were obviously there like their banner sort of picture on there and stuff as well so that would be really really cool i am going to miss it it's all it's a genuine genuine bike i think i'm going to miss and part of me just goes why are you being a plonker and selling it because you've just spent all that time and money getting it right but i know like i always say i know where i want the channel to go and i know that there's something else coming up and this has got to go just a shame isn't it but anyway hopefully i just hope i really keep saying it i just hope somebody buys it that watches the channel because it'd just be lovely to you know know it's out there doing its thing the thing is i could go on and on about this bike but i think the important thing of it is is that i generally felt honored riding the honda pan european around the uk like the compass and the thing of it is i get why people love them so much because they are just fantastic great touring bikes that can hack the miles up and that's the thing i get it but i could talk about it all day so what i want to do is end this video and let the bike talk for itself so ladies and gentlemen i just give you the final ride on the honda pan european st 1100 Feeling in my bones, I can feel it in my veins. Hands in the sky, I can feel the winds of change. You live and you learn, and I hope I've seen enough to make something right and make up for what I. Surprised by you Want you to make my heart feel as much as I know it should I wanna get high on Caught by surprise by you Want you to 